Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with Nutella. Come here. <laughs> Loving life as always. I am back today for episode 13 of my Wed Shred series. If you've been following along, you will know this is like a 15 week series, which means the wedding is in like two weeks. Whoop whoop! I don't know whether to say whoop whoop or what what, because honestly, it's coming very fast. It's very crazy. But I'm back today to take you guys through a lower body workout, legs and glutes. Very soon, I'm going to do a little physique update first. So if you've been following along, you will know that I dieted down, hit the position that I kind of wanted to just maintain and hang there. And I've been doing just that. My weight has been hanging in the like six zero range, so between 60 to 61 and just chilling there. I've been eating about 2,200 calories, give or take. I've been eating out a fair bit, so I'll have some days where I track really consistently at that intake, and then I'll have some days where I know I'm eating out, and I'll just eat some of my usual meals and leave some calories to go and eat out. So I've been quite flexible, but still really consistent, which is exactly what I want. I'm going to do the legs and glutes number two session from the Eat Like Ruby training membership. So all of my training membership gals will recognize this sesh and I thought it'd be cool for you guys to actually see me do it and go through it. Yeah, whoop whoop. And then we go into the sesh and then we've got it all there. Perfect. The girls in the training membership will know all of our videos now are me. Good old rubes in the videos. What a cool opportunity to go through the sesh, show you guys what it looks like, show the girls who are actually in the membership what it looks like when I do it. I just thought, why the hell not? So I'll talk you guys through it and I'll talk you guys through like why we do certain things, what the focus is, what we're trying to achieve with that session as a whole. But I'm gonna go to gym right now. I'm gonna meet Gmot. Shaq's gonna come as well and let's go. So we're doing glutes and legs two from the Eat Like Ruby training membership. So a little warm up and then our first exercise is Bulgarians. I feel like that's going to put everyone off ever joining the membership. The bad bitches will get it. And here's our sesh. Perfectly laid out for us. How convenient. The Eat Like Ruby training membership. All right, so our first exercise is body weight Bulgarian. So that's not too bad, body weight. Three sets of 10 to 12 reps. First exercise is a bit more like warm up, activation, mobility, movement, all the things like this. Three sets of 10 to 12. Obviously did 10, not 12. Okay, so we've done the first set, we'll rest for about 60 seconds. We can record them all in here. How convenient. We love. And we've got our little timer in there as well, which is telling us to get up and go. So I love to program these first, or the reason I program these first is because good mobility, like if we look at that, big stretch in the hips, so the hips get nice and warm, glutes get nice and warmed up. Right, third set, final set. We should be getting quite warm. Boots should be working. All right, I'm quite puffed from them actually. Okay. Next up, we're gonna do glute bridges. So flat on the floor, no bench. First set, a little bit lighter. So four sets, first set bit lighter to get into it. And then three main sets. We'll do 20s first. Chuck's coming to help me, look. Oh. <laughs> this is like so easy for him. I'm like, mission, and he's like, oh. yeah, marry him, put a ring on it. Oh, is that like the put a ring on a dance, single ladies? <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> My first set, 60 kg. That's about body weight. Let's get it. 
What are we doing? Probably about 8 to 10. Yeah, 8 to 10. It's as if I wrote it. Some 10s on. First set was 60. This set is 80. I like to do about a two minute rest on bigger lifts like this, just to get my breath, load the weight, etc. I haven't done these for ages. So that's why I started at 60, but they were pretty easy. G called me out. She said they looked easy. So big jump to 80, but we'll see. It's so slippery here. That'll do. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> She's gassed. Okay. Kettlebell RDLs, 12 to 15 reps, RPE 7. So these are more like a little bit lighter weight, higher rep after the big dogs. So I think I've got a 14. We'll see how we go. Old hammy issues. So I keep it a little bit light. We'll see how she goes. Because I had so many issues with my hammy, I feel like I think I'm going low enough. These aren't too bad. So we're looking at like this see that's she's low one up there so we want this to be nice and straight whereas sometimes i get a little bit nervous and then i feel like i kind of stop there so with this we get to record all the reps and then the weight so then we've got like all four sets of the bridge 10 at 60 10 at 80 and then what do we do here 12 at 14 love Shaq's giving me shit because um, his weight's like 10 times mine, but who's got the bigger quads? Flying hamstring curl. This is my fave. I think we've got eight to 10 reps. I'm a huge fan of these, so let's get it. So the thing I love to think about here is not letting it fully go like that. Stop there, bring it back up. I just love these. I would just do a whole session, 12 sets in here. Let's go again. I feel like I could maybe go a bit more. I'll find one of those in-betweeners. The other thing I think about is pushing the hips in. So you see people that like let the hips come up and then they kind of go like that. So you want to push the hips in and keep them in the whole time. Like there, hips, 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 push them in. Two point three. What a bizarre amount. So supposed to be three sets of um, eight to ten, but I'll probably go four because when they're good, they're good. I'm a massive wiper because I managed the gym during COVID, and it was pretty much wipe the equipment or you don't have a job. <laughs> Let's sit on here oh, just to chill. And we can explain this sesh a little bit. I've got a podcast coming out this week about training. It's kind of like my advice for people going into the new year that love nutrition and training and don't have a fat loss goal. Because I think there's lots of us. So I've got a podcast coming out this week about that. And then next week is kind of a follow on for the same kind of girls, but it's really specific um, how to structure your training, how to work on the main lifts, like hip thrust, squats, deadlifts, all of that. And I really talk about why I program certain things on certain days, etc. And even if we use this session as an example, any lower body sesh, I love to go push, pull, some sort of bridge or hip thrust. So push Bulgarians, pull RDLs, glute bridges, and then some accessory work. So today like hammies and calves. On our other leg day, we do quads and more glutes. So three big things, push, pull, thrust, and then accessories. Quads, hammies, glutes, calves. Little calf raise, yep. So I like to push through the big toe and the ball of the foot so we can get into there. Can we just take a second for these? Go Bruce. There they are. Oh, there they are. I like to program them on this first so the girls know how to use it. And then if we program on a calf raise machine later on, like further down into the program, and then they're like, oh, my gym doesn't have one. They know like, oh wait, I know I can do them on the leg press. I like to think ahead. 
Two. Yeah, round two. Went up in weight because I was full cruising on those. So then when we've put everything in, she's full. And then we hit save. Then you put, how hard was it? I'd say, yeah, probably seven, seven out of 10, which is exactly what we want for like a first week program, week one, because we RPE around the seven to eight mark. And then that goes up by the time we hit towards the end of the program, we want like nine or 10 out of 10. So that's five exercises. I normally go five or six, because by the time we go cardio warm up, 10-ish mins, mobility warm up, 10-ish mins, and then we've probably been like say 40. So that's an hour. So I like to be mindful of that. Anywhere from probably like 50 minutes to just over an hour is what we aim for with the sesh. So five to six main exercises. Today was five. That is legs done. Um, with all of our programs in the training membership, we have legs either twice or three times a week. The girls on the five day membership do five day training program, do legs three times a week and then everyone else does it twice. So that was one of them. So link in the show notes to the training membership, to the fat loss phase, to all of the things. So check out the Eat Like Ruby podcast because we've got so many podcasts lately about training. So if you found this interesting, if you like to learn about the structure and the reason and everything behind training, so many training podcasts in the recent weeks and in the weeks to come. Apart from that, I think we'll be back with probably two more wedge shred episodes which is crazy because that means the wedding's in like two weeks so make sure you're subscribed watch out for those videos to come and then there'll be a wed video at some point i'm sure should watch this space I'm nervous. <laughs>